Mr. Speaker, I beg to present for second reading a bill shortly entitled Companies Amendment. Mr. Speaker, the purpose of the Companies Amendment bill is to amend the Companies Act, Cap 13.01, that's the Companies Act, to change the minister responsible for the registry of, co of companies and intellectual property from, minister from the minister responsible for legal affairs to the attorney general. And, and I was joking my colleague and friend a while ago, Mr. Speaker, and I was saying that he has taken away my portfolio in public. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this is a, a, a relatively simple but necessary change to provide for greater efficiency in the operations of the registry of companies and intellectual property. Presently, Mr. Speaker, the minister responsible for legal affairs is responsible for administering the Companies Act in relation to the registry of companies and intellectual property. Consequently, amendments to the Companies Act can only be effected for the minister responsible for legal affairs. However, most matters relating to intellectual property rights and the registration of a company under the Companies Act that are currently under the purview of the minister responsible for legal affairs may be better effected for the informed legal insight proffered by the Attorney General, which is common sense, Mr. Speaker. The Attorney General is a lawyer, and he knows the laws, etc. So that's, that is policy declared and common sense, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, under the Companies and Intel Property Registry Act, the approval of the, of the Attorney General is required for the Registry of Companies and Intellectual Property to amend the schedule to the Companies and Intellectual Properties Act, number 13.02 in relation to the subject matter, which may be classified as intellectual property. It is envisaged, Mr. Speaker, that the amendment to the Companies Act to assign the Attorney General the responsibility for administering the Companies Act will enable more effective administration of the Companies Act and greater efficiency in the, ex in the execution of the work program of the Registry of Companies and Intellectual Property. Additionally, Given that the Registry of Companies and Intellectual Property was established as a statutory board under the, com under the Companies and Intellectual Property Registry, Registry Act, CAP 13.02, and not as a Department of Government, responsibility for the Registry of Companies and Intellectual Property does not therefore have to be assigned to a minister. Rather, such responsibility may be assigned to the Attorney General, even where the Attorney General of the Attorney General's is a public office. Mr. Speaker, there's an ever-growing prominence of intellectual property in various sectors and a constant need to strengthen the regulatory framework in relation to companies based on the demands of the global environment. It is anticipated that this amendment to the Companies Act will allow St. Lucia to keep our fingers firmly placed on the pulse of development and change in the companies and intellectual property industries. Mr. Speaker, so what we are going to today mr speaker is we are going to be amending section 551 which which um the definition of the word to amend the definition the definition of the word minister and we're going to amend the principal act mr speaker and these are two simple amendments but significant mr speaker and we need to do it so in, in terms of intellectual property rights, etc., our citizens can be better served, Mr. Speaker. I, um, I commend this amendment to, to my colleagues, Mr. Speaker. I thank you.